The first half of 2020 has been full of surprises, including the home buying and selling experience. I'm David Stark, and welcome to a special mid-year edition of the East Bay Real Estate Weather Report. We're going to focus exclusively on the first six months of the year. First, a quick comparison of the first half of 2020 with the first half of 2019, looking at market activity for single-family detached homes throughout the East Bay. Homes for sale were down 38%. Sales prices increased 7%. A home was on the market an average of 26 days, and the total number of homes sold decreased by 25%. Now, let's get local, starting with the 880 corridor. Homes for sale. Slight drop from February to March, and then a rebound in April and May. Prices. Mild rise, even as shelter in place kicked in with a drop between May and June. Days on market. The pace of sales picked up all the way into April, and then a little slower during May and June. Pending sales. Buyers backed down between March and April and then got to work in May and June. Homes sold. COVID-19 slowed sales in April and May. More homes on the market in May showed up in sales during June. Now we're going to move into West Contra Costa County. Homes for sale. Rebound in April and then fairly consistent number of homes on the market into June. Prices. Stable for the first half of the year between the high 500s and mid to low 600s. Days on market. Big drop during April and May, and then the pace slows during June. Pending sales. Starting in May, more buyers interested in home ownership. Homes sold. Steady increase during the first quarter. A drop in sales as shelter-in-place kicks in, and then a rebound during June. Next up is Central Contra Costa County. Homes for sale. Consistent increase in inventory with the peak so far during May. Prices up through April. Prices on the rise, then dropping and stabilizing May and June. Days on market. Mid to high teens starting in March show strong buyer interest. Pending sales. Some uncertainty between March and April was gone by May and June. Homes sold. Steady sales until that peak inventory in May drove up sales during June. We're going to move now into La Mirinda. Homes for sale. COVID-19 limited choices during March, but more homes on the market in April with the peak in May. Prices. Some fluctuations month to month, but for the first half of the year, price is fairly stable. Days on market. Quick sales during April, then slowing in May. Pending sales. More interest in home ownership in La Mirinda starting in May. Homes sold. Consistent sales activity during shelter in place, and then a big jump during June. Now we're going to move into the Tri-Valley region. Homes for sale. Steady increase in homes on the market, even as shelter in place kicked in. Peak inventory during May. Prices. Slight decline in prices February through May with an equally slight increase during June. Days on market. The pace of sales did pick up coming into the spring, but is still slower than the rest of the East Bay. Pending sales. Buyer interest dipped, then came on strong in May and June. Homes sold. Some volatility in sales activity due to COVID-19, then a big rebound during June. We're going to wrap things up in the Delta. Homes for sale. Consistent inventory during the first quarter, peak in April, and a drop in May and June. Prices. Very stable sales prices with a peak during April. Days on market. Pace of sales accelerated monthly during the first half of the year. Pending sales. May and June brought more buyers into the market. Homes sold. Consistent at first, then a big increase during June. If the second half of the year is anything like the first, who knows what may happen. We'll see you next month.